Rock is arguably the biggest star in the history of wrestling, not to mention movies, television, entertainment. This guy is a mega star. Bro, you ain't bringing him back to put him in a triple threat. I'm, 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 I don't care who's in the triple threat. You're not, you're not bringing a guy like Rock back to be in a triple threat, bro. Seemingly, that what they're going to do is is is, Rock, is Roman Reigns pulling double time. My 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 thing with that is it just seems so like you you had this is the biggest pay per view in WWE history. This is the 40th anniversary of WrestleMania. You want as box office as you possibly and can. And not right? only that, Chris, let me I don't mean to interrupt Are you. you. This is TKO's first WrestleMania. Bingo. So pig, piggyback WrestleMania 40, yep. Yep. TKO's first show. Bro, yep. it don't get bigger than the Rock and Reigns. Bingo. I mean, precisely. I mean, like, you, at this point, you want as box office as box office can get yes. to have big numbers for your TKO, for your first TKO pay per view ever, having to be the biggest pay per view of all time this is the 40th anniversary of wrestlemania you you want to pull in as much box off as attraction as you possibly can uh you know i don't care if i hurt the cody cry babies yeah. but at the same time the cody isn't a outside the bubble box office attraction man and i think that you can't sit there and cater to the marks while you have a box office re ready and ripe for the picking. It just doesn't it. make sense to me. I'm you afraid. and I are on the exact. Bro, you know what it's like? It's like, you know, the, the network executives when it's baseball season, they, they, they want the Dodgers and the Yankees in the World Series, and then the Arizona Diamondbacks get in. That That's what this is, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. But the only difference is the WWE TKO can make the yeah. Yankees and the Dodgers happen. They right. can make that happen and they had it bro and that was the right decision yeah. and now bro we're gonna let these freaking like like the marks are gonna stop watching if yeah. cody doesn't come on bro they're not. <clears throat> yeah they're not and they're, even even in a press conference man you know there was we won cody it, it, it is funny man uh, I, I get so amused by because I'm I'm so just psychologist psychologist I just psychology just rules the world with me you know second to theology, and so it's like I always think about stuff from a theological lens and a psychological lens, and it's like I was listening to those fans, and I was thinking about so many psychology theories and sociology theories because what they were doing like it was funny because. You you were saying you were having we want Cody and then Cody sucks and people say no we don't and then the rock came out they were chanting and putting their phones out and then all of a sudden oh is this is this our time to boo okay here we go because it, it is like and, and then when the, he had the mic he did the whole going from side to side fans were cheering and then. They were saying Rocky. And then when he grabs the mic, they, oh, all of a sudden it's a chorus of booze. No one else is cheering. And then when he puts the mic down, there was split. You know what I mean? It's like, how in the world and why in the world would a business, a, a business mogul, bank on that type of audience. On these man. people. On these people, bro. You are booking on these freaking right. out of their mind <laughs> lunatics. That's what you're going to bank your business right. on. These people. Put a camera on these people, bro. Right. You're right. right, Chris. You you are you are dead on, bro. Yeah, they, you just can't do that, man. And so, we I mean, there's still, you know, a number of weeks left before WrestleMania, man. I, I imagine another curve is going to be thrown in there somehow. Uh, maybe we'll get Cody, Seth, you know, and, and Rock Roman somehow that'll come out, you know, that that, uh, that it was uh, uh, um, straightened out. Do you think we could get like a... Do, do, do you see... So, so night one, night two... That seems way too predictable to me ver uh, as opposed to a triple threat match. Could we see since there is that Rock Cody type of overlap with the fans? And it seems like Rock and Cody has even overshadowed Roman Reigns right now 
as far as the Rock Cody split is would it be better? Like, say, for instance, if you were in the room right now, Vince, with other create members of creative, and so half of the room wants Roman two nights, Rock Cody night one, night two, respectively. And the other half of the room is like, no, let's let's you know, Seth, he's been the workhorse, let's have him have a true main event, the last match, and make it a triple threat. What what side would you lean on if you were the swing boat here? It, it would be crystal clear, bro. It would be crystal clear. Rock is arguably the biggest star in the history of wrestling, not to mention movies, television, entertainment. This guy is a mega star. Bro, you ain't bringing him back to put him in a triple threat. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I don't care who's in the triple threat. You're not, you're yeah. not bringing a guy like Rock back to be in a triple threat, bro. Yeah, yeah. you're I, I, not. I hear you on that. It's just that I don't want to see Roman two nights. And so, say for instance, okay, so if you were the swing vote for Roman two nights, night one, night two, would you make a counter in the creative room of saying, let's, let's push i mean let's have cody on standby he'll get his moment let's not shroud the big picture here the big picture is eventually cody's going to finish the story like sure we're in the moment right now but at the end of the day cody's going to finish the story but in the way there we can make things happen that brings more eyes to the product to make it an even bigger thing so would you counter the roman two nights to say no we, we just need to we need to put cody aside for the second bring more eyes to the product and then cody finish the story or would you just be okay with Ro- roman for two nights bro if it were me if it were me the 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 story Bro, if it were me, the story, here's what makes sense. And we talked about it last week. Bro, they set up the story. They set it up on Saturday, bro, when he said, we're going we're gonna to take everything from you. Everything. I've had consultation with people. And, bro, I'm going to take that title from you, but it's not going to be WrestleMania. Yeah. Here comes The Rock. That was the story, bro. Rocks, Cody and Rock are working together. And the first piece of the puzzle is I'm going to show this guy who the real head of the table is. Yeah. That, that, that story, number one, mm-hmm. once that story gets finished at WrestleMania, now there's only one thing left for, for, for Cody to do. They had that story. Yeah. And I would even like say, for instance, if I was in the room <clears throat> based on what we have right now and based on rock saying, okay, I want, I want my name, you know, uh, uh, in the conversation right now because, you know, I'm the I'm the figurehead of this TKO thing. You know, I'm a board member. This is WrestleMania 40. If if you want box office on your biggest uh, event in WWE history, short you want The Rock to be the guy there. I was the guy who I, I, listen. I card subject to change. I'm not proud enough to say okay. Maybe I'm willing to go a different direction. Over the past few days, I have been willing to go a different direction. And that direction is this. Uh, to me, Roman Reigns, three plus years, you need to give it to, you need to give that heat to someone who's the future. However, though, I think that this this monkey wrench could be for the favor of Cody even more because I actually wouldn't be opposed to Rock Reigns headline night two, just just do rock reigns have the rock beat roman reigns win the championship so that even gives more eyes for the tko and it helps you know promote the the brand as well as far as the ufl why not do rock versus why not do cody versus reigns at SummerSlam? like actually have i mean it, it's not it, and it, it all makes sense too because if you can throw your head at the table thing in there because the rock is the head of the table and he's a champion. Now, now you have the bloodline Cody's finishing. The story isn't defeating Roman Reigns. Cody's finishing. The story is becoming what his father wasn't. And that's the WWE champion. It doesn't matter who the WWE champion is. The finish of the story is becoming the champion. So why not have this rock uh, Cody thing 
man, cash in on this thing. I mean, take this to the bank. Have Rock beat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, and then you have Cody Rhodes saying, okay, you know, he can be a part of the World Heavyweight Championship match or whatever it is. Put this aside. Cody Rhodes versus The Rock at SummerSlam. Why not, man? That's the second biggest pay per view of the year, right? So why don't you have that? Yeah, I, I don't have I don't have a problem with that. I I would just make sure, Chris. Like throughout all that, you got to protect Roman Reigns. I agree. I yeah, agree. So I mean that that that's that, that. I would just have to know. Okay, like how are we going to protect Roman? How are we going to keep him at that level? Yeah. You know that that's the only thing, bro. Sure. I you know I can see that. I mean, there's always. I mean, we're you have to remember. Uh, Vince, we're still at the bottom of the third, right? So yeah, we're at the we, bottom so we, of the third. we have that factored in, right? Bro, and and they're having this thing, and, and and bro, there was a still picture. I just saw it online of the Rock and Cody. It was a still, and this Heyman so overselling with his cartoon game. Can somebody get this guy out of there already? Like, do we? What? What? What is he adding to this story? He he stares at Roman Reigns like he's in love with him. What? What? What is this dude adding to this story, bro? I just my, here's my biggest problem, Chris. As a writer, bro, they're going in and out of reality. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you know, Friday was a story. Yeah. Friday was, was a strict storyline. Now we get to Thursday, and now it's now it's real life. Yeah. Now it's real life, bro. So now the story makes absolutely no sense because now it's going to be real life. Okay, so what w- what's it going to be on Friday now? It's just man, guys like. Sit down and 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 figure out what I you're going to do because the worst thing you can do is confuse the fans. Precisely, yeah, especially when the fans are confused. Yes. You know, in, in many in yes. many regards, yes. you don't want to muddle it too much, man. That it becomes very difficult for yes. casuals to understand. I think that's yes. the biggest thing, man. I like, agree. Like, make it as uh as as wrestling storyline for dummies you know what i mean yes. as, as 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 fail safe as possibly can because when you're bringing in new eyes they're not caring about the intricacies of this cody story bloodline finish the story they're coming in coming out the rocks the name that came in you know that they're being glued to and coming back to they don't care about this all this stuff going on man so if you if you if you continue to muddle this man, people are going to go out before they stay before they stay. You know after WrestleMania, so be very careful with that. I agree with you, Chris. This guy right here is Vince Russo. I'm Dr. Chris. This is Riding with Russo. Have a good night, buddy. Solo.